Being here has definitely instilled in me that I can do anything. When I'm first walking on stage, I'm a nervous wreck. Every time, every single time. I'm like, oh, I'm scared of mess up, and in my head I'm like, I'm freaking out, freaking out. We all have to work together to put the best concert possible. And even if I'm nervous, my best friend sitting next to me, she could be fine. And she sings her first note, I'm like, okay, well I got this, my support is here. Sometimes when we're conducting a piece and there's this sappy moment, I will open this up and I'll, I'll point to that. I just want to make them laugh. And I would prefer that we're on stage laughing and loving being with each other than singing like we're nervous that if we make a mistake, we're going to be scolded. grade and I have been a part of the Chester Children's Chorus for six years. I've been in the CCC since summer before third grade, going into my eighth year now. She is in ninth grade. I've known her since she was in third. Little itty bitty Caitlin. Second I've been grade. here since second grade. Yeah, we've been here since so second, second grade. third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Yeah, that's in ninth, ninth. And ninth. Yeah, so nine years. <laughs> You guys got new music? Okay. They come in once a week during the week for practice, and everyone comes on Saturday. By seventh grade, I knew I was going to be a musician. I was absolutely sure of it. But it was nothing. It was just nothing but music, 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 music. It's all I did for years. It's all I did uh, up until I came to Swarthmore. And on a whim, in 1994, I marched into one of the vice presidents at Swarthmore College, told him I wanted to start a boys' course. I had no understanding of social justice, underserved communities. I was just having so much fun making music. And we sounded terrible that summer, but our recognition of each other was instantaneous. We recognized each other's stories, each other's humor, each other's sorrows. It was just like you met your people, right? That was the beginning of me finding my tribe. I teach our training chorus as well as our junior choir. Me and John together, we go out to all the second grade classrooms in Chester and some of the surrounding area and we do musical games with the students. We uncover who are the ones that light up when we begin to sing. Junior choir one. Glory. My name is Aiden Brown. My middle name is Makai and I love music. Mr. Uh, Sean. Sean. Mr. Sean. He's yeah. fun. He tells us the tones, how to like go up and, and down, the rhythm, how to do the pitch, and sometimes the speed too. The songs we sing are really fun, and I like to sing them because I get to sing them loud. Ooh, yeah. We will be loud with it, but. Yeah. Really, I don't want to be that loud because yeah. we will break the, the yes. sound barrier. Yeah, we'll break it. What we need to do is fill their hearts and souls with as, as many good 
wonderful experiences as we possibly can. And that's what they carry with them for the rest of, of their lives. People don't know what is out there until someone puts it in front of them. When you have opportunities like the CCC, then of course the world expands. And when you walk the pathways of Swarthmore College, when you're with the CCC in the summertime, now you're seeing college as an opportunity because it's tangible. It's not just the music. It, it exposes you to so many other facets of life where you're able to see new opportunity and see new pathways for yourself. What we're doing, I believe, is making an investment, whether that be our math program, our reading program, the classes that we offer our students, all of those things coexist to create an environment that it's about all of the ways that they can grow and their exposures, um, starting with music, but then growing out into all of these different fields that truly present opportunities for them in the future. So we're gonna do one more multiplication puzzle today. <coughs> When I came to the CCC 10 years ago, we did not have a math program. We had some middle schoolers one summer, they were very frustrated with their math program in school, and they asked for help in math. The benefit that we have at the CCC is that we know the kids for so long. We have students from 30 different schools in Chester. We assess the students every year, and we have 40 plus Swarthmore College coaches who work individually with our students. We've just come to realize that when students work with the same coach year after year after year, those are the students that progress the most. Our math program is really working. Our children averaged over a year's progress in a general assessment, and when they were assessed in the areas that they studied in our program, they made two years progress. That's real, right? We just need to do that more. I hope that one day we have a language arts program that is as robust as the math program, and we become a college prep and a post-high school prep program. One, two, three, one. As a parent, you want so much for your kid. You want so much for them to just explore and to learn and to grow and to flourish. But sometimes parents don't have all the resources. Sometimes we are just trying to keep food on the table and we're trying to keep a roof over our head and one foot forward. But with a program like this, we see that our children can do more and they can experience more. Music has always been a love that I've had and the CCC fostered that and that's put me where I am now. I mean, I'm a music student in college and this semester I had four classes at Harvard and five classes at Berkeley. It's like you can always feel that everyone around you wants you to succeed. And when we're other places, there's always gonna be people who wanna tear you down. But here, you learn from a very young age that we all need to work together and it's unacceptable for you to bring that negativity with you here. Once you get to our age, it's like second nature. Chester is one of those cities that people very easily give up on the minute you hear the name. But there are still children there that need to be poured into. So a program like CCC that is willing to bring all of that out and say you have potential, that's what, that's what everyone needs. I have very low confidence, always have. And coming here and hearing how great I am, it, it puts a smile on my face because I don't really tell myself that. So it's nice to hear it come out of other people who have wisdom. It makes me feel great about myself. A lot of folks, when they hear children in a choir, the first thing they think of is, oh, that's so sweet. They don't understand the rigor that goes behind how they learn the music, how they practice the music, how John explains the history behind it. Then they embrace it. Classical music is like ballet. 
it's just painful and artificial until you cross that threshold. It's this odd way we use our voices, but what an art when you, when you get good at it. Go, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it. Dolly, baby, baby, softer, grillo, slow, canta, then you blast it. Dolly, dolly, baby, baby, grillo, grillo, canta. It's gonna be so fast and so wordy that you just crack the audience up, okay? So, dolly. Dolly, dolly, baby, baby, grillo, grillo, canta, canta. Our children love all of these high renaissance guys that wrote exquisite music and heartbreaking harmony. Our children love it too. Well, go figure. Versatility is important. And the CCC is an example that you can value more than one thing at the same time. That it's not, you know, the first half of our concert being the classical versus the contemporary. No, it all matters. There's one process for this and there's another process for that. And I think having that versatility is something that's applied to many areas of life. We want to help our children develop the fluency to interact with the rest of America and thrive outside of their world in Chester. I emphasize with my younger students something I call performance mode. And once you find yourself settled and rested at attention, focus on keeping that throughout your warm up. When we're getting closer to our concert and we're thinking about our presentation to the world, we understand the moment that we're in, and we understand that we can be fully ourselves in each of those moments, but becoming a professional, becoming a performer is a part of who we have become and who we are. Tonight, we're gonna to be listening to fabulous children singing. You can hear the, the, the hours of practice that the kids put into it. Once you feel their energy, the vibe is gonna be so good. You're in awe, like, <gasps> Bravo! You know, that type of vibe. If you're not here tonight, then you're nowhere. CCC grow. I would like to see more and more and more kids join because it is such a fun experience being here and like meeting everyone and growing up with people. You find people like her, you know, find life lifelong friends. If you are an alum in the house, once we get to the part of this tune that you know if you want to come down and sing, just jump on stage with us, okay? an iconic stage that the CCC absolutely needs to be on. I don't know. Just give us everything. <laughs> Just give us everything. Every stage will give the audience the best music they've ever heard. Yeah.